Hello students. Let's start our new chapter from science. That is chapter 1. Adaptations in plants. So children. In this lesson we are going to study about different habitats or adaptations in plants. Okay. So plants are found everywhere on the earth, land, water, oceans, rivers, deserts and mountains. So plants are found everywhere on the earth. You know very well we uh, can find different types of uh, plants near our surroundings on earth. Okay. So like land. Water, we also found uh, different types of uh, plants and water also. Oceans, rivers, deserts and mountains. These places are different from each other. So, uh, land, water, oceans, rivers, deserts and mountains. These places are different from each other. And the soil also differs from place to place. It can be sandy, clay or loamy. So, soil also from these places are also different, okay. So, in uh, land, water, la in land, soil are also different from uh, land of water, land of oceans, rivers, deserts and land of mountains also different from each other. So, it can be sandy, clay or loamy. So, this is types of soil. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, clay, loamy and sandy. This is sandy soil. This is clay soil and this is loamy soil. So, these are the difference of uh, soil. Okay, that we can found in different places on earth. Different types of soils can hold different amount of water and nutrients. So, these uh, soils, they are uh, different from each other, isn't it? Uh, sandy soil, it's the mix mix of um, uh, sand and clay and okay and in clay soil the particles are tightly packed when it's wet when it wet and loamy soil it's a fertile soil and it's good for uh, crops and uh, plant for plants also okay so these are the uh, different the uh, different types of soil that is different from each other okay now Adaptations in plants. What is adaptation? An adaptation is a change in the body or behavior of an organism that helps it to survive. So adaptation means it's a change of organism or a living things or living beings that can be survived according to their habitats. Okay, according to their adaptation. Adapting to their body or behavior that they can survive or not. Okay. So, for example, a cactus cat that has adapted to live in deserts cannot go in marshy land. So, so for example, a cactus plant. You know cactus plant? Yes, that can be found only on desert land. That cannot uh, survive or that cannot grow on marshy land. Marshy means it's a wet land, okay? So, the cactus cannot grow on marshy land. That can only grow on a desert land. So, uh, that can only adopt it in desert land. Similarly, pine tree will not grow in the desert. So, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like cactus, pine tree which we can found on hill uh, area or mountain area, uh, that also we can find in only on mountain area. We cannot find pine tree on desert land. Now, what is habitat? All living things, animals and plants adapt to their surroundings to survive. The natural home of a plant of an animal is called its habitat. Habitat means the natural home of an animal or living organism or plant. Okay? Now, plants can be placed on two major groups. So, plant has been divided into two major groups. That 
is terrestrial plants and aquatic plants. Now, first of all, let's have a look what is terrestrial plant. Terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants are found in different types of habitats such as. So, terrestrial plants we can found different types of habitats. First of all, deserts, marshes, plains, forests, grasslands and coastal regions. So, we can found different types of habitat, different types of plants uh, in these places and these places comes under terrestrial land. Okay. Now, this is desert land. Okay. We found sandy type of soil. We found only on desert land. So, in this type of land, what type of plants can grow? Desert are areas of land that receive little or no rain. So, desert are a place that receive no rainfall or very little rainfall. Due to the scarcity of water in deserts, only few plants grow there. Desert plants are also called xerophytes. Examples a cactus plant. So cactus plants we have already read about uh, as an example like cactus plants only uh, can grow only on desert land. So uh, that is a uh, desert land and in this type of land only we can found this type of uh, plants like for this is an example okay and this is cactus plant it is also called uh, zero parts plant which can grow only on desert land. Why only cactus plant can grow on desert land? Why not pine tree? Why not other plants? Because in desert uh, areas due to the scarcity of water. Okay. This scarcity means deficiency of water. So in desert uh, areas there will be no rainfall or very little, very less rainfall. Okay. So because of that plants need water to live and grow. So that is why scarcity of water plants cannot survive uh, long. So uh, there's a uh, cactus plant only can be grown there. How? Why? Why only cactus plant only can be grown there? Let's have a look. Desert plants that is found in desert shows the following adaptation. So why desert plant only can be uh, found on desert land? It has succulent stem which can store large amounts of water. So this is the stem of the uh, of cactus plant. It has succulent stem, okay, which can store a uh, large amount of water. So uh, this stem can uh, store a uh, very large amount of water. The leaves of the cactus plant are modified into thin and sharp spines which prevent the loss of water through transpiration. So, uh, stem can hold, uh, sorry, store water, uh, a large amount of water can hold for a long time and that the spines can, uh, spines modify into, which prevent the loss of water through transpiration, okay. And transpiration means, transpiration is the process by which water is lost through the stomata of leaves. So, transpiration is it's a process which water is lost through the stomata of leaves. Okay. So, that is why the, that is why only cactus plant can be grown on desert land. Now, next one is plants of marshy areas. The trees that grow in marshy plains are called mangroves. So, especially uh, this type of tree we can found on marshy land. Okay, marshy land. There is water, wetland, water and uh, uh, clay soil. You can found uh, this type of soil in marshy land. Okay, and this trees, especially this trees we can found on marshy land that is called mangrove tree. The roots of mangroves grow above 
of the soil so that they can breathe in air. The stable roots are known as breathing roots. So, uh, this mangrove trees, you can see the roots of this trees which is above the uh, soil, okay? And um, mangrove tree, this roots breathe through air, okay? And this is called breathing roots. Breathing root that makes plants also breathe through. Uh, mangrove plants uh, breathe through their roots, okay? And it is not under the soil, under the water, but it is above the uh, soil. So these are the example marsin um, areas of marsin plant, okay? Now, plants are plain reason. The trees have lots of leaves with branches spread around. The leaves are flat and thin. They have they help in evaporating the excess water and keep them cool. So, in plain reason, this type of trees we can found like they have a lots of leaves with branches spread around. The leaves are flat and thin. Okay, that type of trees we can found on plain reason which have flat and thin leaves which have been evaporating the excess water and keep them cool. This is plain land, okay? This is plain land and this type of trees we can found in plain areas like neem, people, sesame and mulberry, okay? So this type of, so this is an example of uh, trees which we can form in plain areas and this uh, trees shade all their leaves mostly in winter season. So this tree uh, shade all their leaves in during winter season. Now forest land. Forests are regions that are thickly populated with different kinds of plants. They, they experience heavy rainfall. Many varieties of trees, shrubs and holes are found here. Forests are home to a wide variety of animals and birds. So as you know that uh, this is forest. So it has uh, thickly populated with different kinds of plants. That means we can different types of plant with plants on forest and uh, whenever um, it has uh, sufficient rainfall or heavy rainfall okay because many types of trees variety of trees shrubs and herbs are found in forest that is why if there is thickly populated or thickly populated or thickly uh, areas of trees that means it receives more rainfall okay and forests are also home to a wide variety of uh, animals and birds you all know that animal most uh, wild animals and birds live on forest the leaves of plants growing in the forest have waxy coating with pointed tips Plants growing in these soils have special roots that help them to stay firmly in the soil. So, plants have a special root which help them to stand firmly in the soil. And it has waxy coating types of leaf with heavy pointed teeth. Orchid, mahogany, rosewood, and sandalwood are some examples of plants that are found in forest. So, orchid, mahogany, rosewood and sandalwood are some examples of plants that can be found in forest. Now, next one is grasslands. Grasslands are large areas of land covered with grasses and wild flowers. The plants are adapted to develop deep roots in order to absorb water from deep in the soil. So this is the picture of grassland. Grassland means it is a large 
area of land uh, which is covered with grasses and well wild flowers so the plants are adopted only in, only why only on grassland because their deep roots are absorb uh, water from deep in the soil so grassland receive very less rainfall so uh, grassland receive very low rainfall as compared to forest Therefore, the amount of tall trees or bushes are very less in grassland. So that is why only short grasses you can see in this picture, isn't it? So because of um, low less rainfall, here we cannot find tall trees or bushes. Okay, trees and bushes we cannot find on uh, grassland. Foxtail and rye grass are some examples of plants. that are found in grassland so foxtail and rye grass are some examples of plants that can be found on grassland so this is foxtail okay this is picture of foxtail and rye grass this type of grass we can found on the on grassland now next one is plants are coastal areas this are uh, the plants that grow in coastal areas are adapted to hot and humid climate so <clears throat> so in coastal areas uh, the type of plant uh, only grow on coastal areas because they need hot and humid climate like coconut tree and rubber tree especially this type of tree we can found in coastal areas because they need hot and humid climate so up to here i hope you all have understood about terrestrial plant in the next class we will be doing aquatic plants and its varieties okay thank you for all